What's challenging in this work is to really understand how to direct the cells to do what we want them to do. So to make a bone or make tissue for skin. In this lab we work on tissue engineering, which is a field that's been developing recently. And the idea is that um, we use materials like what you see here, which are called scaffolds. These scaffolds are made in polymers and uh, they have holes. They're like a big sponge. We can take these scaffolds and grow cells from patients on them in the lab. And then we can functionalize the surface of these scaffolds with some molecules that will tell the cells what to do. So that when the cells are back in the body, they will either become bone or skin or cartilage, whatever we need to substitute in the patient's body. This interface is actually the most important part of the implant. It's the first region that the cells see when the material is in the body, and that's what will determine if the implants will fail or succeed. So for example, if we need to substitute bone, it needs like months because the bone is slower to regenerate. Uh, so it will degrade in months, and at the same time the, bo the body will build new bone. If it needs to replace skin, it will uh, degrade in weeks because the skin cells regenerate much faster. And so the skin will regenerate while the polymer degrades. So at the end, months or, or weeks, this will be gone and what you will be left with is your new bone or your new skin. So now I'm going to put the scaffold in this machine. This is an infrared spectrometer. This machine allows us to characterize the chemical nature of the surface of the scaffolds. And we use this machine in conjunction with this gas delivery line to uh, send probe molecules like water vapor to the surface of the scaffolds uh, so that we can understand the interaction of these molecules that are biologically relevant with our surfaces of our scaffolds. There has been a lot of advances in tissue engineering in a short time frame. What I think is the new frontier is this work at the surface that we're doing so that we not only have a scaffold, but we have a functional scaffold, a scaffold that will be able to really talk the same language of the body and tell the cells what to do.